Dubbing is a process of replacing the original audio of an actor with a new one in another language. For this German video... Aber sein Werk ist noch nicht vollendet. Im Gegenteil. Es fängt jetzt erst an. The dubbed result in English would look and sound like this. We have been called upon to do his work. We have his gospel. There is a clear mismatch between the audio and the lip motion and to overcome this we present a method that alters the mouth motion of the actor such that it matches the new audio. We mustn't become complacent. We have been called upon to do his work. We have his gospel. Traditional dubbing is a complex process that requires specialized translations and accurately timed recitations by a dubbing actor such that the audio roughly corresponds to the mouth motion in the video. Our setup does not put such strong constraints on translation and timing, but requires a dubber to be filmed during the recording. Here we see the original target video of the actor on the left and recorded dubber on the right. Des Menschen Ehrgeiz übertrifft sein Vermögen. It's a lie. Man's grasp exceeds his nerve. We first capture the facial performance of the actor and the dubber using a blend shape model based performance capture method. This method also estimates scene lighting and fine scale skin detail, which is not depicted here. We transfer the blending weights pertaining to the mild motion from the dubber to the actor. The actor now appears to speak in the dubbing language. In a second step, fine scale skin detail in the mouth region is transferred from a retrieved performance captured mesh with a similar mouth expression. The detail in the rest of the face is preserved. We ensure a better audiovisual alignment by enforcing lip closure for certain consonants. We create a convincing mouth interior using 2D image warping and a 3D tooth proxy. The synthesized mesh is rendered in the target camera using the estimated scene lighting and dense albedo. A final composite is created. Here we show our final dubbing result. Have you eaten, Mr. Anger? I need something impossible. You're familiar with the phrase, man's reach exceeds his grasp. It's a lie. Man's grasp exceeds his nerve. Society tolerates only one change at a time. Here we show a result for a different actor reciting a theatrical play. In fact, it's just begun. We mustn't become complacent. We have been called upon to do his work. We have his gospel. We have his words. And his blood. Yet we also have his sacred vow, which I do firmly believe. Here we show the same actor being interviewed. After the Passion, I was, um, with a medieval theatre company. Then, with a musical project in Neunkirchen. And after that, um, well, a few more bit parts. I played a messenger from Athens in Lysistrata, uh, Banquo in Macbeth, and lots of bit parts I don't even remember. Without blending weight correction, the mouth shape sometimes looks unrealistic or skewed. Without synthesized skin detail, the rendered face looks too smooth and lacks realistic shading. I'd like to play Jesus. I declined and then I... Without audio alignment, the lips do not always close when a P, B or M is uttered. I played John, the youngest disciple. That's how I got my start. Creating the mount interior using only a 2D image warp is less convincing.
Because of the use of a blend shape model, we allow the users to control the expressiveness through scaling of the blending weights. We also compare our approach to a purely image-based method that reshuffles and warps the target frames to match the dubber's performance. In fact, it's just begun. We mustn't become complacent. We have been called upon to do his work. We have his gospel. Our 3D approach shows better quality and higher temporal resolution.